Hello everyone. As many of you will know, I am the Christian Aid Rep for St Peter's Church. St Peter's has been a great supporter of Christian Aid for many years. There are three main times each year when I ask for your support. During Lent, when we hold our Lent lunches, during Christian Aid Week in May, and at Christmas time. In 2020, our series of Lent lunches got off to a very successful start, with the first three raising in total over £600, and each one attended by 40 to 50 people. Then lockdown was announced, and the final three lunches had to be cancelled. By this time, I'd already made plans for Christian Aid Week, when, in addition to the house-to-house -house collection around the parish and the envelope collection in church, I'd planned a junior church cake sale and, for the first time, an evening of line dancing. Over 30 tickets had already been sold for this. All these events had to be cancelled. Instead, I set up a Just Giving page and online donations amounted to £802. Thank you so much. Now Christmas is just around the corner. For many people, it's a time when they give thanks for the blessings of the past year by remembering those both at home and around the world who are in great need. I can well remember as a child the Christian aid envelope in the middle of our Christmas lunch table to remind us of those who couldn't celebrate the birth of Jesus in the way that we as a family could. However, 2020 has been a year like no other. At the beginning of the year, none of us could have foreseen how much our lives would have to change. For some, these changes have led to new and unexpected blessings, but for others, they've resulted in financial, social and emotional hardships. For many parts of the world where Christian aid is at work, there was already so much suffering. The result of famine, war and climate change. The arrival of COVID-19 added another almost unimaginable layer of hardship. This Christmas, Christian Aid's slogan is, Together we can build hope. The homepage for the Christmas appeal gives this message. At the end of one of the most difficult years the world has faced, we invite you to stand together with us to build hope for the poorest and most vulnerable people. In the face of storms, drought and disease, your love builds hope. I'd like to share just one of the stories that appears on the website. It tells of 21-year-old lad called Imote, who lives in Nigeria. By 2015, both his parents had died and Imote was left to care for his nine younger siblings. Fortunately, his father had a small farm where they grew oranges, and the sale of the fruit enabled Imote to feed the family and send the younger children to school. That ended when coronavirus struck. The schools were closed and he was unable to sell his produce. Christian Aid was able to distribute information about the pandemic, as well as hand sanitizer and clean water to Emote's community. While small cash donations have meant he can continue to feed his brothers and sisters until he can begin selling fruit again. With your help, Christian Aid can support more families like Emote's. And there are lots more stories like this on the website. Possibly like us this year, you have had to reconsider your finances in the light of redundancy or furloughing or the reduction in interest rates on savings. However, speaking personally, 
This has enabled us to really examine where our money comes from and how we spend it, and has made us reassess our charitable giving in a considered way and in thanksgiving for the innumerable blessings given us by God. If you do feel able to give to Christian Aid this Christmas, there will be envelopes in the pews in church over the Christmas period as usual. But for those who are unable to get to church or who prefer to give online, I've also set up another Just Giving page. The address for this can be found in the St Peter's newsletters for the next two Sundays and in the article that will appear alongside all the other Sunday resources sent out by the virtual congregation on December the 13th. And I'd like to conclude with a Christian aid prayer for the isolated. God of heaven and earth, in these times of isolation, apart from loved ones, distant from friends, away from neighbours, Thank you that there is nothing in all creation that is able to separate us from your love. And may your love that never fails continue to be shared through the kindness of strangers looking out for each other. For neighbours near and far, all recognising our shared vulnerability. Each of us grateful for every breath and willing everyone to know the gift of a full and healthy life. Keep us all in your care. Amen.